Hello and welcome back to Mr. Caro Plays FM23. Now today I'm going to do a transfer tip and this is uh, how to avoid playing, paying even, sorry, agent fee and signing on fees. Now you will, there's kind of two ways to look at this kind of uh, tactic or tip if you like. Sometimes you will fail using this tactic or, you know, sometimes you will fail because sometimes players will go to other clubs because they offer more money, etc. So this is not a for floor proof plan. However, it can be quite successful, especially if players are not in mass demand. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a player to try this on. I looked a little early to see someone because I wanted to make this successful. And I want to go to assign, you know, approach to sign. Obviously go through that screen there. And once you get in here, assuming that he is asking for a signing on fee and an agent's fee. Now this does work with you know more high profile players if you like however obviously this is probably going to be aimed at maybe free agents or players of a lesser quality that is fair to say however in this case for my save this guy would be an excellent signing so you could say it depends on the save you are you know if i've only got 400 uh i can spend per week and i save the 2000 and then the 675 pounds on agents fee and if you bulk it up to maybe a better player and say that that was five to ten thousand on agent fee uh, you can argue that this is a good method. Now, in order to do that, sometimes you may have to offer more wages. Now, I would do that if it was slight, and you might say, that's kind of crazy. But I just have a vendor of it's paying these kind of sign on fee slash agent fees. So if I was to put that as zero, and then put that as zero as well, sometimes in this case, he probably will say yes. And he has said yes. But even so, even if he had negotiated that up and said no, you can you know, play around with the wages a bit if need be. You can maybe play around with the sign-in bonuses. Sometimes I will go down to bonuses and I'll add team of the year and I'll add in uh, all these other kind of things. This is a kind of specialist one I use down, or not specialist, but kind of one I use specifically down here. I don't imagine a defender is going to get 30 goals and 30 assists. So if I offer a lot of money, if that man, he managed to miraculously do that, sometimes they will accept that. And it has worked for me that they do. So yeah, you can save money, essentially. This is the tip I'm trying to uh, show you today, is that yes, you may lose some players using this. It is not a foolproof plan, if you like. Not every player will like you when you do this. Some will go to teams if they offer uh, that kind of fee, and you don't. However, I have managed it, and I generally sign all my players this method. I never hardly ever pay signing on fee or agent fees unless I am certain that I need that player, and I do not want to let him go. Uh, so if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Hit that notification button for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.